Hi and welcome to week two. Week two focuses on egoism. Egoism comes from a Greek word ego, which you may notice somebody who has a big ego is selfish or self-interested. And basically ego means self. And so it's an ethical theory that believes in this idea of selfism, that you should do things because they benefit yourself. Now, the idea here is, is that, you know, you, you, it sort of starts off with what we call a descriptive theory of uh, which is basically describing the way the world is, and it says, look at people and take something like, uh, like, you know, that would be a, you know, a self, a, a selfless act, you think. And, you know, you might say, giving to charity, and they would say, yeah, but do you feel good about giving to charity? Um, did you do it because maybe you were at the store and they said, hey, you want to give money? Or maybe you'd be too... Uh, embarrassed not to give something or you feel good about it. And so what they're saying is they're saying all these things in some way benefit yourself. And there's really nothing as that's a selfless act. And so at the end of the day, they say, why don't you just go out and be selfish? Why try to candy coat it and try to do things that are selfless? Because there is no such thing as a selfless act. As a matter of fact, there's some very famous and popular uh, egoists um, you know, there's Ayn Rand, and basically they believe that, you know, if we go out and just look out for ourselves, look out for our own thing, not worry about a morality, you know, do what's, do whatever benefits yourself, you know, if, if stealing, if, uh, you know, cheating benefit you, then do it. And even, there's even kind of this concept within economics of laissez-faire economics. Laissez-faire economics holds basically that, you know, you go out and, uh, you know, whatever is good for you financially will be best for the world because if everybody just goes out and takes care of themselves, looks out for number one, doesn't worry about everybody else, that the economy will function the most efficiently. It's only when we become concerned and try to do things for other people that the economy quits functioning efficiently. Now, the other side of the coin is people say, well, you know, if nobody follows any rules, everybody's cheating, this is going to cause a breakdown. And they would say, well, that's possible, but even at that, you still have to be, how shall we say, you still have to be interested in your fellow man. You still have to look out and follow some rules, because at the end of the day, you know, you know, if you cheat your colleague, they're probably not going to want to work with you. And so you have to be somewhat fair. And so, you know, you can't just completely abandon all rules. But your rules are really only set up so far as they benefit you. If it doesn't benefit you to follow the rules, then don't, benefit, then don't do it. But at the end of the day, yeah, there are some rules that you are better off following. Because if you, you know, are constantly cheating, constantly stealing, yeah, you will hurt yourself. But there's nothing wrong with it, the egoist would say. If you have any questions, please bring them up. Work your way through the lessons, and uh, I will see you on Tuesday.